Angus O'Brien with ball in hand. Now we are underway at Park Scarlets. Zebra. Now that was a, a knock on. Advantage being played. Scarlets can't take it. They need to get themselves back in winning ways. Been pretty Set. poor, really, in the first four games. And there we've seen it again. Struggled last week. Ritzy into the evening air. Infinitely. Combier underneath it. He loves to counter. Very short man, but powerful. Straight through over the gain line. Evans. Scarlet's attacking. Out wide they go. Ball back inside. I think Zebra have got their hands on that. Yes, they have. But I think it will be Scarlet's ball. It'll pop over the top. McNichol. Wide ball. It's a flat ball, said the referee. Happy is Gwyn Morris. And Sean Gallagher, opening score. Good. He's sporting a new hairstyle. Kasim could have been on there for the Scarlets. <laughs> Steph Evans tidies up a little bit. Just scored a try. Blacker. Again, they want to carry out of the 22 to the Scarlets. Kasim does well. Goes on. Plenty of bodies in that ruck for the Scarlets to secure. Enrico Lukin. Playing 12. Boni out injured. And an injury also as they open things up. This man's dangerous. Tom Shanklin said, What do you know about Pierre Bruno? Well, we can see from that first little dart there that he is dangerous. And it's Zebra on the front foot. Advantage, Advantage being played. Sign from Benetton in the summer. The Scarlets to switch on defensively. High hanging restart. Advantage. Another penalty against the Scarlets. Advantage. You know, loves loves ball in hand, loves tackling, loves going forward. Well, that's what Zebra are doing at the moment. Tackle! Yeah, Rob Evans back playing rugby. This is a huge game for the Scarlets, you know, that, as we've talked about Early so far three. already. Early three. You know, poor start to the season, you know, right down the bottom in stats. Then uh, I can't see any reason. Not allowed play to continue as Kasim uh, takes that cleanly. Jack Morgan. In comes Combia. He scored one. Takes Sean Gallagher out with him. Kasim carries socks down always for him. Asquith. Talented footballer. Been at the Scarlets a while. Scarlets getting cleaner possession. Asquith. Can he offload? No. But the ball is there for Blacker again. O'Brien. We've seen him float one over, tries the kick, but he knew the advantage was coming. No problem for Angus O'Brien, extends the Scarlets' lead. Lorenzo Maselli in the eight shirt, the man originally from Joburg. Oh, good attacking play there from Steph Hughes, but then it's gone forward and Johnny McNichol plays it. And that's a penalty. And they reacted well there. Taylor Davis to Morgan Jones. Big second row, young second row. Carries well. Play. Wide the Scarlets go again, trying to get on the uh, Zebra outside. They might have a look at that again. Depends what happens. Steph Evans, basketball pass back in. And you think something's going to come through Steph Hughes now at 12. When you're playing off 12, you're able to play a little bit wider. Play. Free kick. kick taken quickly. Three stepping round. Well, no Three move, he had to carry it there. Blacker has to wait for it. McNichol, long ball out. Jack Morgan out in that channel. Kick inside. Good kick. Blacker uses quick feet. Now then, is this going to be a try for the Scarlets? I think it is. Dane Blacker crosses for what should be a second score for the Scarlets. There's a kick involved. Oh. I'm just looking where Dane Blacker was when that kick was uh, put through. I think it was Asquith out there. It was. So whatever happens here, we'll come back. Renton want to play Zebra. Ritzy, long player. ball out. Donna Frio out here. Is he going to go for the corner? Cuts back inside. Beats numerous Scarlet defenders flying over. Advantage off your feet. No problem at all for Antonio Rizzi, the final act of the first half at Parque Scarlets.
With a good restart, Pierre Bruno got a right hand to it. And Zebra straight on the attack. Ian Nagel. Look to get the first points of this second half. Straight in front. And straight down the middle as well. Good start for Zebra. Scarlett's lost the lineup, but are really on the front foot. Lovely little outside drift from Asquith. Oh! Couldn't quite free his hands. Pierre Bruno clears it. Some ball for Zebra. Ritzy, long ball to Lalaifi. And here's the danger man, Pierre Bruno. He elects to kick. All depends on the bounce. That'll be a 22. Quick little restart. Johnny McNichol offload to Morgan Jones. Here come the Scarlets. They still want to play. Still want tempo in their game. McNichol back on his feet. This is going to be a foot race. And there's only going to be one winner. Bruno crosses for Zebra. They missed the penalty. But now they've gone over for a try. Blacker. He's been caught a few times at the base this evening. Penalty against the Scarlets. I've said that more than once this evening. You know, they, we're not getting a true reflection of what this team can do, the Scarlets. Straight through goes uh, Lukin again. On his shoulder is uh, Coffey, the open side. Step every single time. Still advantage for the collapse at the moment. Kennedy through the middle end. Kennedy goes. Bunch Who's on his shoulder? shoulder? Another replacement in Will Homer. Where do you get that spark from? It's all been Zebra. And here's a chance for them to take the lead. Yeah, he's very happy with that one. Almost got a little bit isolated there. Calamaphoni. He's carried no, well, feet, but just not been in the game really. Taylor Davis. No, black! Zebra now have to be the careful ones. They don't want to give anything to the Scarlets. Bello strong over the ball. But I think he's deemed to be part of the tackle. Struck it well. The flags are up from the Scarlets. Are back ahead. On that was that Drake. No, it was Ed Kennedy. Now there's a chance for the Scarlets. Costello decides to turn Zebra. Put them under pressure. Ooh, what's happened there? I think he'll have another look at this. There's no problem for Zebra retaining possession, and that's what the Scarlets have decided to do. Angus O'Brien has seen enough. They will take a victory.